In 2003, when the media told us that Iraq could reach our country in 45 minutes, I was worried and I was shocked. And when Tony Blair said, he, he corroborated that and he gave the impression that, like in the days of Churchill, he knew something that he was keeping from the British public because it was, it was better for this um, magnificent figure of, a, of prime minister to know something and, and to have this parental thing that he wouldn't tell the British public. So you thought, our oh, prime minister knows something. When it came out afterwards that it was based on the dodgy dossier, when it was based on false information, assumption, I was absolutely furious. Obviously, we destroyed a country on that and we're still, that country is not recovered it's still being destroyed now. And then in 2011, I started to see all of the demonization of Gaddafi. Jeremy Vine saying, you know, how mad is Gaddafi? And it was taken as a given that he was mad and you have to go from there. You're not given, you know, should we talk about Gaddafi of the country? What's happening? You're given that he's mad and then you've got to work from there. So it was all, it was all this and I was watching um, Al Jazeera. I thought Al Jazeera was, was pro Arab, you know, those sort of thing, Arab nations. There was this chap coming on the banner underneath was Battle for Libya. And I thought, hmm, funny for an Arabic station to be have that sort of t phraseology. And then they talked to this chap and his name was Salme Khalizad. And I thought, well, gosh, he's being really bellicose against Libya and really demonising Gaddafi. I'll just quickly look him up. And he was from the NED, the National Endowment for Democracy, which is a US supposedly non-governmental organisation, but is actually paid by the US government. Then there was another, an Arabic chap there. I looked him up, and again, he was from the AEI, American Enterprise Institute. And this for you is when you started doing the digging and saying, actually, yeah. we, the messenger isn't as neutral as we think it is, and, yes. and this war for people's hearts and minds is very real. Yes. yes.